Hey everybody, Ron here again at Oregon Hot Rod. Just wanted to show you what we're doing here to the dash. I uh, had a set of uh, S&W gauges laying around. All uh, OEM stuff that uh, I had uh, been saving up for this project. But uh, this here is the dash panel we're making. Uh, I've got it stained up. The holes have been cut. i got the gauges setting in here right now. But uh, let me tell you something, this here is uh, pretty thin wood and uh, I, uh, I found out with one of the pieces when cutting these holes to use a hole saw and not try drilling holes in it. So uh, if you're working with a hardwood and it's pretty thin like this, this is, here is only a quarter of an inch thick. So uh, be careful, very careful, it splits real easy. Got the uh, easy wire wiring kit here, so that'll be uh, we're using that here to wire up the truck. Uh, got lots of stuff here uh, sitting around waiting to uh, if I need it. Got extra gauges over here if uh, anybody's interested in some, get a hold of me, OregonHotRod.com, and uh, go from there. Anyway. Uh, stay tuned. We're going to get this here all put in here in the next uh, couple of days. I got some uh, lights coming for it and stuff and uh, get this uh, truck going. I've uh, ran into a couple little issues here I wanted to, to kind of show you and stuff. Uh, one of those issues is the lamps for the gauges. This here is a set of uh, 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 vintage uh, heavy-duty Stuart Warner or yeah Stuart Warner gauges but one of the things I ran into was the these bulbs uh, these bulbs are uh, uh, there's different ones and they get old and loose and everything but what I found out is Napa makes a, a a bulb, the ones I've got here, it's part number uh, 787133. I hope you guys can see that. Get it focused in here. But those uh, bulbs fit right into the hole and uh, they work excellent. Uh, they're very tight, so no problems with loose uh, fittings and stuff. Uh, you can see I'm getting the wiring all put together here. Uh, Still got a few little things. I got turn signals yet to get hooked up, which is another issue that I ran into with uh, with this thing. One of the things I found was that LED lights don't work. I got these LED lights here, a uh, little shop here in in, uh, in Salem, and uh, hooked them up and uh, tested them and found out that LED lights they have a slow recovery rate and so they don't flash off. Uh, so I wound up uh, doing some research. You need to have incandescent lights for the for the turn signals. I found these uh, little jobbers here uh, through uh, uh, United Pacific. I found these online. They're, they're called a mini uh, bulb uh, uh, they use them for boats and things like that but uh, you can see these little mini bulbs uh, but these are uh, small incandescent that works real good uh, for this this type of situation I'm still uh, I still got a little bit more to do here I've got uh, these uh, uh, sockets here I'm going to put in so that I can uh, put a, a disconnect on the gauge cluster so that I can uh, remove that if if I need to uh, from the car without disconnecting all the wires and everything else so it's all left all in one piece and can just be removed later on if need be. Uh, anyway and this, is the, this here will be going in in the next uh, Oh, a few days here probably. You know, also got my uh, uh, glove box already. I still got to drill out for the uh, the lock assembly, but uh, 
pretty much everything's all done with the with that so uh you know last time on uh doing the instrument panel here i was telling you about uh putting in my connector well we got the connector in but what i found out is the connector that i had uh was not heavy duty enough for my application uh, the one I got was uh, what they call a .93 spade uh, connector, and uh, those connectors only hold about 3 amps of power. Well, for the instrument cluster, you need uh, between fif around 15 amps of uh, power to the, to the gauges and stuff. So what I wound up finding out was there is a... Uh, 6.3 spade connector and that's what this 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 connector is here so 6.3 uh, this here uh, is uh, is uh, basically the same kind of connectors that you use just little flat connectors uh, into a, a, a gathering now there's another connector that I'm going to have to get uh, I think it's called a trainer or something of that nature. I'll have to look that up again. But it, it'll it carry a 10 gauge wire and I'll need that for the amp meter when I'm doing that. So just wanted to do this little short uh, update on you. Uh, watch it with these connects. They're really, really hard to find online. But if you start out with uh, just uh, searching out 6.3 uh, connectors, uh, you'll find them. And my last deal, I was talking about these uh, these uh, pin connectors here, and uh, I wanted to bring you up on this here. I wasn't for sure what the name of these were, but what I've learned is these are fast on connectors. F A S T O N, fast on. Uh, these are a six point three pin, uh, which is basically a spade connector. But they come in, in uh, uh, 0 0.93, uh, 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 2.5, and the 6.3. So the 6.3, this here's your heavier duty uh, connector. These will handle uh, 15, uh, 15 amps, 20 amps. So uh, the... the that's what I wanted to update you on stuff uh, to make some clarification. I'm going to be making another uh, video here a little bit later on. I'm going to take you out. I'm going to show you the uh, right rod, what uh, we've been getting done on it in the middle of doing some wiring, uh, setting up the engine, getting ready to fire and all that stuff. So uh, keep tuned in. Uh, I'll see you in a bit.